Okay, hi guys. So let's look at question number three. So we have 50 cm cube of nitric acid completely neutralizes 50 cm cube of 0.25 mol dm cube of calcium hydroxide. Okay, calculate the molarity of the nitric acid. Okay, so um, basically the same thing. You have all the information here. You have the volume of the acid, volume and molarity of the alkali. All we need to find out is the molarity. Okay, so first thing first, we must have our chemical equation. Okay, a balanced chemical equation. Now, this is the chemical equation for the reaction. Okay, so we have nitric acid react with calcium hydroxide. Okay, this should be two calcium hydroxide. 2 produce calcium nitrate and water okay so as you can see this uh, equation is clearly not balanced okay on the reactant side we have 1 and O3 on the product side we have 2 and O3 so we need to balance this out first okay so um, Ca is already balanced so no changes there okay so only NO3 so 2 here we need to put 2 in front okay and after that you calculate the H um, on this side. Yeah, so here we have 2H. Okay, and then 2H. And here we have 2O, 2H. So 2 plus 2, that makes our H here is 4H. Whereas here, we only have 2H. So how does 2 becomes 4? We put 2 in front. So 2 times 2, we have 4H. 2 times 2, we have 2O. So balance okay now we list out the information given from the question okay so we have um, molarity of acid so molarity of acid here we don't know it's unknown but we know the volume of acid is a 50 cm cube and then um, the molarity of the calcium hydroxide so molarity of calcium hydroxide is 0 0.25 Okay, and the volume of calcium hydroxide is 50 cm cube. Okay, and now all we need to do is just substitute inside the formula. Okay, MAVA over MBVVB equals to A over B. Okay, so this is why it is important to have a balanced equation. Okay, otherwise, once you substitute, you might get a wrong answer. Okay, so MA unknown we just write it down VA is 50 and then MB is 0 0.25 okay and then VB is 50 okay and then A is referring to the coefficient or the number in front of our acid so 2 okay 2 mole of uh, nitric acid and then B is the coefficient in front of our alkali so there's no number here which means this is 1 Okay, so 2 over 1 equals to 2. Alright, so now we need to move one by one to the other side, leaving only MA here. So MA times 50. Okay, divide with 0 0.25 times 50. Move to the other side becomes multiply. Okay, so... Okay, so multiply 0 0.25 and 50. Okay, and then I only want to find MA only. So divide with, sorry, multiply 50, move to the other side, become divide 50. Okay, so 2, 0 0.25, and then 50, divide with 50. Okay, so you get your MA value in more per dm. Okay, so now let's look at the fourth question. In a titration, 50 cm cube of 0 0.5 mol dm cube, sulfuric acid neutralizes a 20 cm cube of potassium hydroxide solution. Calculate the concentration of the potassium hydroxide solution. Okay, so first thing first, we must have our balanced chemical equation. Okay, so this is the chemical equation. Sulfuric acid react with potassium hydroxide to produce potassium sulfate and water. Okay, so 
which one is not balanced here? Alright, so you look at the metal first. K2. Okay, we have 2K here, 2 potassium. Here only 1. Okay, so of course, to balance it out, we put 2 in front. Okay, and after that, we recalculate what we have. So 2K, 2K, 1SO4, 1SO4, and then we have H and O. Okay, so again, this is 2H. Okay, this is 2K and then 2O and then 2H. So 2 plus 2, we have 4H and 2O. While here, we only have 2H and 1O. How does 2 becomes 4? How does 2H becomes 4H? So we put 2 in front. So 2 times 2, 4H. 2 times 0, 2O. So balance. Now that we have a balanced chemical equation, let us put um, list down the information given from the question. So for our acid, our MA, okay, the molarity of the sulfuric acid is 0 0.5 mol, the M, mol per dm cube. And then the volume of acid is 15 cm cube. Okay, and then molarity of alkali, molarity of potassium hydroxide is unknown. And then volume of potassium hydroxide is 20 cm cube. Okay, so let us substitute inside our formula. So, MAVA over MBVB equals to A over B. Okay, so MA 0 0.5, VA 15. Okay, MB unknown, VB 20, A over B. So, A is 1, B is 2. Okay, so we move one by one. So 1.2. Okay, let me move, let me try a different method now. So I'll move everything here first. So MB. Okay, divide with MB and 20. So here becomes uh, multiply MB and 20, right? So here we have 0 0.5 and 50. 1 over 2 times 20, 10. So here 10. MB. I only want MB only. So 10 times MB move to the other side becomes divide with 10. So 0 0.5 times 15 divide with 10. So you get your answer in mole per dm cube. Okay, this is your molarity of um, molarity of potassium hydroxide solution. Okay, so please check your answer and I'll see you guys again on Thursday.